So here's a really nice sounding 60 note triplet lick that you could use in jazz. Sounds good for jazz, but you could use it anywhere. Uh, and the lick is six notes. So I'll show it to you. I'll just split it into three and three. Okay? So the first part goes like this. And the second part goes like this. Okay, so now I'll play them closer together and then I'll play them flowing together and uh, get faster and faster. So the bass drum is just pumping eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay? And just one thing I want to show you is when you start going fast, uh, you need to use a, a technique on your hand to, to allow you to be able to move between the snare and the cymbal quickly. And I showed this in one of my YouTube videos. So if you want, you could go check it out on my channel. It's called Hand Pivot, pivot Technique. But I'll just show it to you quickly right here. So all you do is you place your hand in between the two drums, snare and, and the ride, and you pivot it. Instead of going like this, which takes a lot more time and space, you just put your hand in the middle and you pivot it like you're turning a key. So you just put the stick in your hand like you're turning a key. Okay, so now I'll play this uh, lick in a groove so you can see where it sits in the groove. so you see there I'm moving the fill around the kit so with every fill that you learn a lick you should really stretch it out as much as you can get the most out of it so move it all around the kick the kit once you get comfortable with the sticking once you get comfortable with the fill let's say just on the snare then start moving it all around so just as an example I was playing that kind of lick on the tom so all I did was move the two accented notes the right left and I just moved them on the toms so this is the lick okay so now we're gonna take 
the same lick, and we're just going to add three notes to the end of it. So the notes are going to be exactly the same as the second part of the lick, which is... Okay, so the lick is going to sound like this. Okay, so I'll play it a bit faster. Okay, so now you can add as many of those notes as you want or not add them. So it gives the lick a whole new dimension. You shorten it, you lengthen it, and it really creates... You could use this in like a solo. So I'll just give you a demonstration of that. Okay, so now we're going to move the lick over by 160 note triplet. So this is going to give the lick a whole new feeling. Okay, so it's going to be the exact same lick, but it's just going to move over where it sits with the time. Okay, so I'll just give you a demonstration. I'll split it in two parts again. Okay, so the first part is going to be this. And the second part is going to be this. Okay, so. Okay, so now we're going to add three notes at the end of this lick. So I'll just split it up in three sets of three, okay? So the first one. Second and third. So now I'm going to play this lick in a groove. So now you could switch between also in the same way, between the first six note lick and this one when we added the three notes. Okay, so I'll go between the two of them.
very important with these licks that you learn is, of course, to learn the lick itself first and all the ghost notes to make it sound good. But then after that, the most important part of it is to really make it your own. And I know I say this all the time, but I find this very important. To really just improvise with it. Play it in as many different ways as you can. Try playing it in 16 notes, the same lick, so it'll be like a polyrhythm. Play it all over the kit. Come up with different, maybe a one different little sticking of your own that you find that works for you. And the only way you'll come up with this stuff is not by sitting down and saying, how can I change this lick? It's really just by improvising with it. So trying different things all around the kit, and you'll come up with your own flavors on it. So uh, thank you. Hope you got something out of this lesson. And uh, see you next time. Take care.